Last night, I had a dream that I was about to have a big interview with the one in charge. As I was getting ready, I noticed my dress had shrunk, and now it was too short. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Some dear souls gathered around me to prepare me as they would prepare a bride and graciously made a dress for me out of the ribbons from the gifts. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Once I'd received this gift and had been clothed in the righteousness of Christ Jesus through the forgiveness of sins by his shed blood on the cross, I knew I was ready to meet the Lord, the one in charge. I knew our meeting place would be much nicer than my current dwelling place. It would belong to God, and it would be a place full of abundant love and rest and a place of abundant provisions. In my current dwelling place, besides the hidden place where I dwelt in abundant love and rest with my bridegroom, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Lord, the one in charge, the rest of the rooms were empty and in the possession of someone else. The state had even found its way into the church. Don't let the enemy have a seat at your table. He is looking for someone to devour. At that point, I began to finish packing and cleaning with my sisters, and we left for our Father's house. Jesus said, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and I will receive you unto myself, that where I am, you may be also. Thank you, Heavenly Father, our holy, holy, righteous Lord, that because your Son, Jesus, shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, you freely welcome us with open arms into your holy presence. You are a loving, compassionate, forgiving Lord who has clothed us in righteousness and we are ready for the heavenly banquet. We want to be seated at your table in your kingdom. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen.